Brianna, how did you end up coming to Hardin Simmons University? Um, well, I have originally um, went to ACU for undergrad, and that's my connection to Abilene, but had connections with the amazing faculty at the PA program as I was instructed by several of them um, in my um, upbringing as a PA. Um, and so then come back to Abilene to be part of that program. What do you love about Hardin-Simmons students, specifically the PA students? Well, lots of things. Um, all of our students, and we try to find students that not only have a heart for medicine, but a heart for service and a heart for others. Um, so it's fun to see their minds grow in, in that process, not only in love of knowledge, but love of each other and their community. How did you get into healthcare in the first place? What, what, what was the attraction? Yeah, I, um, I'd always wanted to be in healthcare, so even went through health camps per se. I've got pictures from the time I was in third grade on um, doing things. It's just medicine and biology and science has just simply always been a passion of mine. Um, and then just solidified through, I um, was involved in hospital exposures in high school and, and then that just kind of confirmed it for me. Did you ever find uh, a, a woman mentor along the way that kind of poured into you or drew out of you um, your potential? Um, well, there was multiple contacts, but you know, funny thing how Facebook, you stay connected and I'm connected to my high school science teacher, um, you know, who did the general science and really watching her just challenge us and even at a young age and teach us new things. Um, but, but honestly, I don't know that I would be as where I am today, I guess, without her. And then, of course, you know, you have to say your mom. Okay, uh, of course. <laughs> and my mom's just an amazing person all the way around um, and inspires me every day. What's her name? Uh, Stephanie. Mm. Uh, so, one thing, if you could do it the rest of your life, over and over, every single day, and you had to do it every day, what would be the one thing that you'd most enjoy? Mm, if I had to do it every single day, I mean, I love being a mom every single day to to my two girls, um, but I, I really do love um, treating patients and, and seeing patients and making people feel better. Um, my background originally is in orthopedic surgery, and so that was, um, and it still is a passion of mine. Um, and so if I could simply just make people feel better from their hurts and aches every day, it, it just, I guess, fuels my fire. Perfect deal. Uh, cookies? Yes. Tell me about that, because I'm a cookie, I love cookies. <laughs> So um, when my daughter was born and then she kind of hit her first Christmas, we um, started wanting to do the whole Christmas cookie tradition and I ended up really liking decorating sugar cookies. So um, now I have a five-year-old and that is, I guess, one of our most favorite things to do together is to um, ice sugar cookies and she's a pretty good decorator. Okay, so if you ever have any ones that are misshapen, the ones that are messed up Sounds and good. burnt, <laughs> and you put them in a box and you bring them to me. Absolutely. There has never been a bad cookie in my life. These are pretty good cookies. I'll have to share. They're good. pretty good. Got a Th reputation. Thanks for coming in. Oh, you're welcome.